Oh, <laughs> look at that, guys. Wow, we got Spider Punk. Do we have Gwen here? Yo, what up, guys? Welcome to another Toy Hunt video. It is 84 degrees hot out in the city of Chicago. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. It has been a minute since I've done an intro. I am really excited, guys. I got a lot of stuff happening in my life right now. Number one, I haven't been hunting a lot. It's been crazy. If you've been following me for a while, you know, I've told myself for 2023, I'm going to be a smarter collector. So I'm not going out to Targets and Walmarts as much, you know, or even at all. In all honesty, guys, uh, I've been really into the Mythic Legions. So, you know, until they start selling Mythic Legions in stores, you know, maybe I'll start hunting in stores. I don't know. But funny enough, guys, there's a lot of new stuff out right now. So lots of new Star Wars stuff. I think I saw Sentry, the Mad Collector. He ran into some new stuff at Target. So I'm actually on my way right now to a Target. I'm actually selling some Mythic Legions, guys. I'm making space. It's springtime. It's April. So I am just unloading some stuff because I need to create some space in the toy room. I have a lot of extras. I have just been collecting and hoarding throughout the, uh, throughout the winter. So I got to go ahead and get rid of some stuff. But yeah, you know, we want to we wanna make some money so we can buy some new things. We got Kane County right around the corner. So we're really excited about that. Stay tuned for that. Uh, I also will have a toy haul for you guys. I got stuff in the mail, stuff from Four Horsemen, stuff from Empire Toy Shop. So we got some Star Wars. We got some Mythic Legions. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, guys, make sure you do drop a like. It does help promote the channel. And make sure you sub if you're new. All right, guys. I'll see you in a second. Okay, folks, I am here in the toy aisle. It's been a minute since I've recorded, but here in the Lego, guys, look at this. We got some new Indiana Jones Escape from the Lost Tomb. This looks pretty awesome. Like, let's look at the minifigures. Look at that. That's cool. And this set, it's actually pretty big. I think it's uh, $40. No, it's not. That's not right. Seven. What? Wait, hold on. $77.13. What? Did they just reduce the price already on this? Was this like way overpriced? But cool looking Lego set. And then we also got this over here. The fighter plane chase, which is a pretty cool looking Lego set, guys. Like, not gonna lie, look at that. That's awesome. But looks like they put a lot of new Lego out. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's actually new or not, but... I just wanted to point these out because, yeah, that's cool to see. But let's go look at the action figures. Okay, guys, we are here in the action figure aisle, starting off with Transformers, and we got Optimus Prime and Skull Cruncher. This is pretty cool. We also got the Jungle Mission 3 pack, Cheetor, Nightbird, and Wheeljack. So that's kind of cool. Uh, looks like we also got some other Transformers here. These are pretty cool. Who's this? Metal Hawk. That's pretty cool. And then we got the is this Optimus in the back and yeah, Maximum Leo Prime. Oh, and then take a look. We got, we got a small Skull Cruncher. Oh, and then we got a little Rhinox here who looks pretty sweet. Let's see. We also got Cheetor. It's pretty cool. Uh, looks like a bunch of the. Uh, I don't know if this is new or old, but we got Ratchet over here. Oops, let me zoom out. Sorry. Ratchet. Uh, yeah, a bunch of Transformers here. That's cool. All right, who do we got for DC? Nothing new. No new DC yet. Bunch of Shazams. I did run into the other new ones the other day, but I didn't record it. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. There you go. Uh, my wife and I watched it the other night. It's really funny. Uh, Power Rangers. We've got some cool stuff here. All right, Dungeons and Dragons gelatinous goop, cube, goob. <laughs> this is cool. Um, I would like to pick that up, but on clearance. Oh, here we go, guys. Look at this. Guardians. So we got Nebula over here. That's pretty cool. And they're bringing back the plastic, so you can see them now moving forward. Well, at least I think later. So who do we have? Nebula. We got Craglin. So we got Craglin over here. 
that's pretty cool so we got craglin so cool starting to see some marvel legends here and we also got ghost rider but uh, i am waiting for the uh spider-man into the spider-verse marvel legends so definitely gonna grab oh actually look at that guys that's pretty cool star lord how much are you going for 131 yikes mm -hmm. so we got that all right let's uh turn our way to wrestling wrestling nope oh, got star wars luke skywalker uh the new one actually looks pretty good the six inch one coming out later this year it has butterfly joints so that's exciting we also got the emperor over here so pretty cool to see these two retro cards uh, we also got Return of the Jedi, Leia's, and Lando, and Han Solo. Uh, I'm going to play the long game with those, get some clearance. Uh, we also got Dark Troopers over here. Um, this is where I found the chase that I sent to my boy, Nate Strong. Um, apparently it was really expensive, I didn't realize it. <laughs> so, there you go, Nate. Uh, I didn't notice that until like a bunch of you guys were messaging me after I posted it on Instagram. But uh, we got these Indiana Jones toys, and actually people are complaining about like how small these are. So um, look up reviews first before you buy stuff, guys. Apparently these are tiny, and a lot of people are complaining about the sizes. But you know that's that's what you get when you don't show what's in the box, so you don't know what you're getting sometimes. But yeah, uh, that's all I'm really seeing here. So. I think we need to get out of here. All right, guys, we're here at Brickyard Chicago Target. Let's uh, see if they got anything for us today. Okay, um, I always get taken back by the targets and like the different layouts. But um, we got a White House here. I don't know if that's old or new, but I'm gonna take a look real quick. Oh yeah, look at this, guys. That's actually pretty sweet. Oh man, that's kind of tempting. Um, we also got this here, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, that's a, like the Doctor Strange minifigure is probably one of my favorite minifigures. Plus it comes with that ring, which is so cool. But um, yeah, we'll just kind of wander and see what they got here. Uh, nothing new. Let's see, we got these. Bible first. Got some Stormtrooper Battle Packs, Obi-Wan, Helmets, uh, my very first toy that got me into collecting about roughly two years ago, holy cow, and that's when I started to pick up YouTube, <laughs> uh, yeah, Minecraft, we got Harry Potter here, uh, Mario, yeah, a oh, Bowser. We just finished that build. Okay. Um, I'm going to kind of wander around, though, for a bit. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's see. Spider-Man. What are these? We got puzzles here? Oh, look at this, guys. This is pretty cool. We got a new Funko. Miles Morales. Wow. And we got a big pop here. <laughs> wow. Let's see. Right there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Moon Knight stuff. Oh, wow. Damn. Do we have any of the new figures yet? I'd love to find that. Uh, it does not look like it yet. Oh, <laughs> look at that, guys. Wow, we got Spider Punk. Do we have Gwen here? Oh my gosh, look at that. No Gwen, no Gwen. Oop. Let, me, uh, let me fix that. Okay, wow, I picked it all back up, but... Look at this, we got Spider-Man 2099 here. But that's pretty cool. Let me line these up. Yo, that's awesome. Miles, so unexpected. But this is cool. We're uh, definitely gonna scoop. Definitely taking Miles home today. Uh, just debating on a Spider-Punk. I don't think I need a Spider-Punk. Miles. But, uh, we're actually here in the Transformers and they got some of the new Beast Wars stuff out. So take a look. Rise of the Beast, Silver Fang. We also got Optimus. Okay. Um, let's see. My boy Blair. What's hot here? I don't know, boy. I don't know, boy. You gotta tell me. Let's see. What else do we got here? We got a ton of 
uh, Danny, or was this Danny Ray? Is that Daniel LaRusso? That's cool. Uh, Motu. That's what I'm not seeing here. No Motu. But yeah, that's awesome. I'm happy about this so far. Uh, definitely scooping today. So um, we're definitely getting a video, guys. So that's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> um, behind me, not really seeing much, but yeah, look at that, guys. How hype is that? That's cool. Let's go look on the other side. Oh my god, guys, I just missed it. Look at this. Wow. So we got a Gamorrean guard here. No way he's $40. What the heck? These are 40 Yeah, it says uh, Gamorrean guard's 40 but I bet you can price match this. That is... Ooh! That is not the price, but... <laughs> Wick. You know, they made yeah, it before in the box. Oh, yeah, I have the other one. Did you see that right there? 40 49 Chicago prices, man. Yikes. I don't I don't think so. We'll get a price match on that. that Maybe they're going with the 40th right there. The <laughs> yeah, they're going 40 with the 40. <laughs> that's what they're doing. <laughs> Insane. But that's cool. That's cool. And they also got the retro Mando here. So look at that, guys. Bunch of new stuff. Wow. Talk about luck. That is so cool, guys. Look at that. Uh, you can price match with uh, Target Online. So if you pull this up on Target online, oh, on their, oh, on their own website, yeah, yeah, yeah price match on that. Five dollars difference. It might be, but it's better than paying forty. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, what else do they got here? Just Han Solo, Leia. That's cool, man. Wicked. They got Wicked here. They got Scout card. Like yeah, thirty. Yeah, twenty nine ninety nine. I agree. I agree. Price match twenty. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so look at that guys, little Scorsese. Love that, love a good haul. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the toy room. And guys, it's it feels like it's been a minute since I've held the camera and walked around the toy room. Usually I'm sitting down and showing you guys the haul, which is over here, crazy. Uh, we'll get to it shortly, but I figured, you know, let's do a little impromptu toy room update. It's not gonna be perfect and super thorough or anything because it is honestly a complete mess in here. But, you know, I know some of you guys like the vloggy parts of my videos. So this side of the room, guys, I got a lot of Lego and Star Wars -y stuff up here. So lots of the older things. Um, we'll get a closer look eventually when I'm done with everything. So we got... The, uh, we got this shelf here filled with Lego. I got my Marvel Legends section. So these aren't all my figures right out here. I actually have a ton like kind of placed in the closet right now. So just a bunch of like loose figures. This is the display that my cousin's husband made for me for my birthday last year. So it's got a little Nolan Collects logo right here. This is pretty sweet. And yeah, I wanted something for my Spider-Man display. So. Bunch of just loose stuff here. SH figure arts, not perfect again, but here is like my Lego Marvel area. So we got like a variety of stuff here. So I am gonna put lighting here eventually too. So that's all in the works. I got like everything planned out. Over here on this section is like my main wall, I guess. Like it's like the biggest wall and it is honestly like the messiest. <laughs> it has a lot of work to do. I am going to do one video specifically just reorganizing this whole area. But as you can see, very Lego heavy. I got the Razor Crest over here, which is still not done, but you can see it compared to the HasLab. And then we got a bunch of like the little micro fighters down here as well. Uh, lots of Mandalorian sets kind of spread out here. Lots of ships. And uh, we even got like some of my Jurassic World stuff down here that my wife got me. Honestly, just a random assortment <laughs> that I need to get together. We got the uh, Home Alone house over here. And then here is like, I really like this part here is like my medieval stuff. So we got the, uh, the, the Lion's Night Castle. We got the other castle here, which is I believe is the Black Falcon Castle, which is the one I'm gonna convert to an orc castle. But speaking of which, here's the orc army. So funny story guys. So there's a little bit of a halt in my purchases right now for the orcs because Target has a street date on these because apparently they share the same code as like the new figures that are coming out. I kind of got screwed on that. So they, a lot of people weren't budging and I pretty much missed out on like six or seven of them. So like, I gotta wait till May 1st. But I will do a video on its own. Um, basically my 
my whole theory and i'll talk more about it later is i want to do a medieval scene i'm thinking about putting these two together i'm gonna like shift those two shelves i think so we can have we can have longer themes going on here so i'll probably put the ucs sets on top I'll do like a medieval shelf and I think I'll do like Tatooine and a hangar for all the ships and stuff. So, uh, and I also got to put the lighting up. So we're going to be basically taking all my sets down, moving the shelves, putting lights. It's just going to be chaos, pure freaking chaos. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe if you want to see some more Lego vlogs. So moving on to the corner here is like my Darth Vader artwork. We also got some shelves. I got to put this up at some point. <laughs> it's been kind of sitting there for the last like year almost um we got to put some shelves up here because i think i need to make more space so probably one more shelf uh the mythic legions display is getting a little messy stuff's kind of falling apart so needs some love and maintenance i probably have to reorganize some of the figures um but yeah i put my all stars down here so if you haven't checked out that video go check it out uh, i did the whole review all in one i don't think i'm ever doing that again that was way too freaking much um and then over here is like my star wars section which is like kind of messy honestly guys i gotta do a lot of reorganization um i'm not i'm like i'm okay with this but i'm not loving it so i think we're gonna have to just do a total rehaul i'm also considering like opening everything and tossing all the boxes out because i feel like the boxes are just taking up too much space here and i'm gonna have to figure some kind of display thing out but uh my goal with the black series was collecting every single mandalorian figure but it's getting just way too crazy with it so i'm starting to become picky and choosy with it and then we got uh some of my black series uh bad batch which i'm not collecting anymore but we got the original five i'm not gonna collect the new ones honestly like once you have the five i don't think you need more um some more mandalorian sets here and then uh my little cantina area where i just put a bunch of like loose figures here so there you go like i said not perfect but you know kind of a work in progress and then some of my more expensive e figures because these all got signed here so if you haven't checked out my c2e2 videos check those out and then we got like a hodgepodge shelf up here of a bunch of random things so i'm still working on the room it's not perfect at all so i'm probably gonna be spending a lot more time on that versus me doing hunts because i can i really can't add here like where am i gonna put stuff like i don't have space i don't want to just put stuff in bins and then like hide them away that's not how i want to collect but speaking of which guys i just want to show this off but like this stuff here is just kind of crazy like i got my c2e2 haul lots of boxes this is actually the all stars five box which i could probably toss out uh musky con legion figures i did sell a bunch of mythic legions so uh thank you for everyone that purchased a bunch of legions these are not for sale this is just the stuff that you know i need to get opened up and like utilize uh we also have my mando helmet with my mighty max and then we got my orcs here so then we got my hauls here we'll go over the haul in a few but hopefully you guys enjoyed that little random impromptu toy log toy toy vlog whatever but yeah guys anyways guys let's get to the haul all right guys all right so hopefully you guys did enjoy that that was kind of fun not gonna lie felt a little old school to just take the camera and vlog again we are here now we are here to look at the haul got a bunch of stuff here that we need to go ahead and open but first things first guys we got miles so this is really sweet guys we got our into the spider-verse figure i actually did debate on picking up two just to keep one on card but i'm not gonna do that with marvel legends you know i gotta set that tone right now to not buy doubles that is not a good thing to do for no reason i mean like i guess i could see it if you're really into a figure but don't do that with everything you know that is just insane like you guys that do that props to you but i think just picking up one figure honestly is pretty good so you openers you mixers you know like me for the last couple years or last two years of toy collecting i've always debated back and forth of like opening a figure and keeping them sealed you know i, I struggle with it a lot because especially when the packaging looks really good you know i sometimes struggle with opening it and you know i'll delay this i'm gonna delay this i'm gonna wait till the uh, movie comes out which i'm really excited i did notice it says part one on here so that's 
I didn't realize that. I didn't realize it was going to be a two-part to Across the Universe, or, wow, Across the Spider-Verse. That's cool. Now we're just looking for Gwen. And then, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be picking up any of the other figures in this line. Like, it's, it's a little off for me, even though they are cartoons. But I really do like the packaging. You know, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, next up. Okay, guys, so next up, I got a package from Empire Toy Shop. I'm really excited about this one. No, I did not get a mystery box, Mythic Legion. Uh, decided to sit this one out because I had a lot of the figures already on there. Um, I usually try to buy the mystery boxes when I don't have any figures from the line for Mythic Legions. But, you know, you get a good chance of getting something. You know, you get a good chance of getting something pretty good. So, we'll get this thing open. But if you did buy a mystery box for, uh, from Empire Toy Shop for Mythic Legions, let me know if you got anything good. I've seen a lot of people post Boreas's and uh, Romulus. Okay, um, here we go. Packaged perfectly wow so first off guys we got the return of the jedi wicket and sorry this is backwards i need to see myself uh someone commented telling me i need to plug my camera uh i'm okay i'll do that next time you know once i upgrade my camera i'll make sure it's flipped but you know what this says guys it's return of the jedi wicket uh so we got him funny enough i actually picked him up at target like about a month ago uh, when I first saw it, but then I saw that uh, my Empire Toy Shop order shipped. So, yeah, I uh, I decided screw it, I returned it. But this one I'm excited for, if you saw the thumbnail. Boom! Holy cow, we finally got Luke Skywalker Imperial Light Cruiser version. This is the Luke Skywalker that created probably one of the best moments in TV history. Don't at me. I stood up when that came and that happened, I literally cried. Like, that was so insane. Um, but I was so happy, uh, and I am really happy to have this one. So this is definitely, if if this was an open plastic package, I probably would get two of these just to keep one of these sealed. But yeah, this is cool. And you know, now that I think about it, I actually might get one more of these because this is just so iconic. This Luke specifically. But yeah guys, let me know if you picked this figure up and let me know in the comments what your favorite Star Wars scene is. This one for sure is my number one. There you go. So not too bad. I love a good Star Wars haul. Okie dokie. So we got two more boxes. Let's go open the next one. All right guys, I decided I'm gonna open the box from Four Horsemen and you can probably guess what's in here. Yes sir, yes sir. All right. So if you watched my toy review of the All-Stars 5 wave, I mentioned what was coming in. So we got two of these bad boys right here. Boom, we got more Boreuses. So we got two more Mythic Legion horses. This is awesome. Now we got a little cavalry going, but take a look. Ooh, <laughs> that's awesome. So we got two horses. I'm really excited to get more of these guys. Next up guys is like one of my favorite figures right now. We got two more Xylernian guards. Let's go. So we got two horses and we got two more Xylernian guards. I think I'm saying it right. Is that right? Xylernian, there you go. Two of these. I made a pretty dope uh, pop and swap on my Instagram. So check it out. Uh, lots of good parts usage on these guys, so I did I did uh, contemplate actually grabbing more of these, but you know, getting these at the thirty-seven dollar price range is awesome. So, highly highly suggest you guys ordering directly from Four Horsemen whenever you get the window, because man, that is just the cheapest and it's the best deal you can get. Because like I really hate paying aftermarket prices personally, you know, for uh, Legions. Especially when you just get them like for these at this price range, it just seems such a good deal. Not too bad of a four horseman haul right here. Okay guys, last up we got a very special package from my buddy Jeff, aka Slap Happy Toys. Uh, you guys don't know him, you guys should. Uh, follow him on Instagram, he is a really cool guy. Uh, hangs out with uh, the boys OG. And all the guys, OG Geek. Uh, but Slap Happy and I, Jeff, we're, we're good pals too. 
uh, really connected over Mythic Legions. You know, we're both really into Mythic Legions. And yeah, he's, he just went insane uh, at Toy Lanta. So uh, check out OG Geek's video. Both of those guys were hanging out together. Uh, they were buying a ton of Legions. I was so jealous. If the Four Horsemen are going to be there next year, I probably will go to Toy Lanta. So I did ask Jeremy, Gerard, and he said that. They don't know if they're going to go. But anyways, um, if you guys caught my one video a couple of videos ago, we went to Muskegon. Uh, that's where the Four Horsemen went in Michigan. And we drove three hours out there to pick up some legions, met up Gree and a couple of friends, and just said what's up to a lot of the vendors and stuff. And I picked up a figure, uh, Brother Mandibulus. So he's an older Mythic Legion figure. And... You know, he was worth quite a good amount of money. But I really just picked him up because he was cheap. I got him for $40. And I think they I think he sells for like $180 or so. But, you know, I was like, okay, I'm either going to sell it or use it for trade bait. And that's exactly what I did here. So Jeff and I, we made a trade. So basically, this is from Muskecon to Toy Lanta. So he grabbed something for me at Toy Lanta. We were messaging each other on the uh, last day, Sunday, and wow, this is awesome. So, I traded him Brother Mandibulus for King Bromden. <laughs> Look at that. This is so cool. So, yeah, I really love this figure. So, the dwarves, his armor looks so sick. And, yeah, just an older figure that I wanted. So, we both traded basically retail price for retail. Uh, but yeah, look at that guys. Thank you Jeff. This is freaking awesome, but yeah, this is cool And just to put it in perspective here is today's haul like holy cow look at that Ooh. <laughs> Not too shabby not too shabby guys not too bad um, Considering I haven't really been hunting, but you know mail calls are awesome but anyways, guys, uh, future stuff. So I will be doing a toy room update. I got to work a lot on my Lego shelves. So we're going to do a lot of reorganizing. Um, I also might do my Black Series. I also need to reorganize that. So if you guys are interested in seeing me reorganize the shelves, do let me know in the comments below because it lets me know what kind of content you guys want uh, moving forward. Um, what to expect also is Kane County. So that is the biggest toy show here in Chicago. I have been going the last like five times, the last five shows. I haven't, I haven't missed it since I started toy collecting. So definitely worth checking out. That's going to be a really fun video. Um, I'm already creating the grocery list of toys that I want to pick up because it's like you know, you want to, I think that's the smartest way about going into a toy show. You know, the saying is you don't go to a grocery store hungry. You don't go to a toy show without your grocery list. So I'm going to narrow down exactly what I want to look for and we'll be keeping an eye out for it. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll catch you next time. Peace.